What's up guys and of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours full of course the Skyrender and yeah it's been a long time coming I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for real in a long while and I'm gonna be honest with you guys work has not been nice to me at all I've been putting a lot of hours in and I have a lot of content for you guys I just have to figure out a way to kind of get it to you if anything and I have a bigger video coming very very soon for next week which is actually a real deal and I definitely want you guys to check that video if anything out so yeah with all that said this is a NUCL battle uh, the NU league that I'm a part of that I sadly due to time constraints haven't really paid much attention to but today we're going up against Swaglet and or other name is Marcus really and um, not going into too much detail he has a really bulky team and I saw that it had got to tell and Gothel is a very, very, like, tough Pokemon for you to deal with. So I decided to actually add Quillfish in this battle because of one reason, really. And that was to kind of force him to attack me, you know, feeding his ego. Because I was expecting him to, of course, have competitive. Because if so, then I can kind of call it in Destiny Bond. So I'm going to, you know, really pre predict that he's going to start off with that. And basically from that point, to try to, you know, kick it out of the bag. Really, I need to be... Very aggressive against him due to the immense power and defensive capabilities that his team really has. And of course, Save Life Walls, my uh, Minerva set, which just screws me over. So, anyway, with all this, my guys, let's go. Oh, yeah, I didn't even comment my own team. I'm just gonna go for the standard Sand Rush capabilities of my team after this. So, anyway, we're just gonna pause it a little bit here. Um, it was very, very interesting that, you know, I was really wondering what went through my opponent's head as of this point. And, you know, of course, Intimidate is going to kick in, you know, activate his competitive. Like I said, I wanted to feed this kind of situation, force him to go, of course, for a Psychic or a Psyshock, whatever he carries, and take him out by that. Because Quillfish is not a big Pokemon for this, this battle, so this was really good. Well... It does suck that I lose my Quillfish like this. It was a worthy loss in a contract or two of actually losing such a bulky Pokemon as Gossethill. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to go to my Scoffed um, um, Raichu because I needed that thing Scar due to he is actually having, uh, ooh, what do you call it, Axelgar in his team. Now Axelgar is not a part here of his team, but it's part of his roster. So I needed something that I speed at and Raichu might just be my best bet to it really. So, his Sableye is going to come in, I expect him to go for a Willow. Um, my Booger can't necessarily do anything here. But I can get him Toxic. And, oh yeah, the Sableye here is not a Prankster Sableye, so by default it's a part of this league. Uh, pretty interesting actually, pretty interesting. And I'm also just having that mention, since you actually will see this. There is a few lag in this recording, and this due to me really, really, really need to restart my computer. I have a lot of updates that just really, really <laughs> showcase itself. My CPU is not doing well, uh, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that, if anything. But yeah, there's, like I said, nothing really I can do. I could go for earthquakes, you know, try to hurt him that fashion, but as it stands, it's not going to happen a whole lot, and uh, that's completely fine by me because like I said the Sableye can't necessarily do anything I'm actually winning the matchup due to him having well not the best situations so he's gonna go to Unpleasant he's Unpleasant very very crafty name and I myself just went for Stealth Rock because there was no real reason for me not doing so and I do have of course a vlog and it's actually more specially defensive with Mirror Code and um, I actually decided to have Rocky Helmet on it and because I was thinking that it could deal with Unfizzant and if he had, yeah he has Camera up also uh, if he had Camera up then I was definitely much like Quillfish gonna have a sack play where I go for a Miracle to take that out and it worked real nice this battle, it actually did but I had not a whole lot of option, he could go for attack move and potentially would a return crit to actually kill me but he's gonna go to live standards which is the goal guys no, uh, Garbodor, my bad. And I went for an avalanche, hoping to actually survive a crit return. But yeah, there's not a lot happening there. And he packs Rocky Helmet on his own, which sucks. Um, luckily for me though, I do carry the um, Earthquake. 
So I'm just gonna go for that. He's gonna go for gunshot landing it, which I thought was, you know, in a contrast too, was kind of weird. I was hoping, or rather, I was expecting a rain punch and was not fully sure I would survive that. Luckily though, that it, it doesn't come to that, and uh, he has no real way of actually winning the matchup outside of, of course, me being taken out by my own sand, and of course, eventually going down to his key ring. But I get a lot of damage on this uh, Gorgeist. I said again, <laughs> Carpador. And that's extremely important because he's going to give you circumstance. And, you know, since I have two physical sweepers, it really helps that um, at least one of them can actually hurt much harder than the other. So there is no ramification for me going to Earthquake. I could have, you know, I, I, he could have switched into a, a Pheasant. But that would have been really, really, really scary. And, of course, that also goes for his... Uh, um, Volbeat? No. Manibus Volby. Yeah, I think it's called Volby. So anyway, here is the um, <laughs> Little again. And I was risking it there. I actually were. Um, Stoutland should take it out with a return crit. But um, I was basically hoping that he would quiver dance trying to force me out. So he was really, really frustrated with that play. You know, I get that. I really do. Uh, I had capabilities as a survivor in Giga Rain 2. So I, would, I was thinking that they would be a fair assumption to you know go for moves like that and actually made it back by that like I said Lilligan not necessarily a big threat to my team due to stealth and I was beating it even after two uh, quiver dances but at the same time I needed to kind of risk that in case it started setting up because I knew I could kind of survive like I said their uh, pedal dance or um, uh, gear range so luckily it did pay off it did pay off immensely actually and I felt really bad at Perspective, I actually really did. Uh, and yeah, this is actually kind of the point I want to be in, I want to force him out, uh, I want to set up the sand, I want to wheel a bit down by the Toxic, and I want him to try to hurt me while I go for Sand Slash again. Uh, hoping that of course he doesn't go for a second will wisp but no, he's just going to go for Fall Play. And of course I'm naturally defensive, so I'm not take that well, did you take it? Uh, I actually decided here to um, go for an Earthquake instead of going for the kill. And re- or actually no, not Earthquake, I went for Rock Slide. Uh, because he has still had sufficient and uh, his um, vul Vulby left. So I thought that was a smarter play. Had I gone for an Earthquake, I actually would have killed this Pokemon. So he gets a burn on me, you know, that really sucks. Um, but as, of, as, as it stands right now, I pretty much have won a game because I do still have a Scarfed. Raichu, of course, in my back, and uh, there is no way neither Volby nor Raichu is gonna, or no, not Raichu, Unpheasant is gonna take a Thunderbolt from Raichu. And of course, Sableye can't really stall me out due to its defenses right there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much cutting it here. <laughs> As you guys might suspect, I did make a very, very good call at the beginning, and it never really let up. Um, I kept momentum through and through the match, and I felt really bad for um, Marcus, my opponent, because he's a very, very not good battler, if anything. But um, this time was one of those days where I actually paid attention, and uh, I this was actually the first time I watched my opponent's team before going into the game. Uh, the other five or four match I had, I just gone in guns blazing, took whatever I had. So. This was definitely more helpful because that definitely helped me strategize my team against his and it paid off immensely because I could just set up traps against him and he was pretty much his own worst enemy through and through the match and th that's pretty much the reason I win. Um, it sucks that since my opponent goes down the way he does. Uh, I know he had to keep build this like to turn this one around but it just wasn't meant to be this time, it just wasn't. So yeah, I don't really know how to you know end this you know clearly I I'll give my opponent like all the credit I can give like he still has a nice you know, game going or a nice construction of his team going in it just like I said previously it just wasn't meant to be I I lured him in the first time I got him the second time and you know after the second mistake it was over like that that was it and I felt really bad for my opponent for that reason because I knew this battle could have been a bit longer, but it was definitely clear from the get-go that I was gonna make this battle as fast as I could because I knew his team was pretty defensive, so if I wanted to win, I had to win by being 
way more aggressive than I used to be just to kind of break through early and you know take away all these defensive capabilities early so I could just start you know punching uh, and it worked it actually did work really good this time um, but yeah, like I said also, the, the other new CL matches may or may not come up. Uh, I'll try to upload all of them, but at the same time, I need to have them in the first place. Or I, I'm a bit behind, so it's kind of frustrating. I hope it works itself out as to go on. Uh, like I said, work hasn't been helping due to being a lot of work due to people being sick and all. But I hope that it will solve itself very soon. But anyway, I of course want to thank you for watching as always. Make sure to leave a like if you like this battle. If you didn't like this battle, make sure to just do that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the stream. <laughs> yes. Take care, guys. Bye.